Lucy, will you marry me? I'm going to buy some breakfast. I'll be back soon. Did you stay with Chia Yuan last night? Yup. And who are you? You lovely woman from the countryside. Who do you think you are? Dreaming of marrying into wealth and climbing the social ladder overnight. Stop dreaming. You better leave Chia Yuan as soon as possible. Don't push me. It's my business. It's none of your business. Bitch! Dare to hit me? Hey, Jia Yuan. You have to arrive early at Mr. Chu's party tonight. I'll pick you up later. Don't be late, okay? Wanna snatch a man from me? You're still too young. Chaiyuan, don't blame me for drugging and bringing you here. Since you've lost your mind and fallen for another woman, Chen Xiaoxi, just wait and see. It seems that Chia Yuan also messaged you just now. He's a bit naughty. Once he gets drunk, he likes to text random women. I've already driven away several women. Or would you like to join them? She, why are you here? She wants to chat, so let her do it. Let's not hide it from her anymore. She, it's not what you think. Let me explain. <coughs> she? Chia Yuan, I've given you everything. What will I do if you leave? Get lost. My baby, you shouldn't have come. Your dad doesn't want us anymore. What should I do? <coughs> you bitch. You are pregnant with Chia Yuan's child. Well, knowing that you cannot marry into the lease, you're using a child to manipulate Chia Yuan. <laughs> Let me tell you, stop dreaming. You must abort the child. Please, I beg you, please spare me. Aren't you afraid that Chia Yuan will find out? Chia Yuan is a name you can drop. Truth is, he asked me to do this. In the end, you're just a woman that Chia Yuan messes around with. I've already had someone follow you. If you ever bother Chia Yuan again, I won't let you off the hook. Let's get started. No! Let go of me! Let go! Does it work? Don't worry, this is a new drug that's still in the experimental phase. One shot will be enough for a miscarriage. Then give her another shot. Better make her sleep forever. Hurry, burn it. Even if it's discovered, it will be self-immolation. The client said it won't be traceable. Let's go. Chen Xiaoxi! Chen Xiaoxi, come out! Why are you hiding from me? Can't you help me out? What are you doing here? Chen Yi asked me to check. 
Look, the one million in the safe has been stolen by Chen Xiaoxi. I told you from the beginning. She's only after your money. You didn't listen. Impossible. She's not like that. I have evidence. Chen Xiaoxi has been with another man all this time. His name is Chiu Fei. His mother got seriously ill and needed expensive medical treatment. I remember, it was around that time that she started getting close to you. Chia Yuan, isn't this enough proof? Chi Xiao Xi, don't let me see you again. Welcome back, great designer. I should give you a hug. Thank you for picking us up. I should be thanking you. You said you want to be single for life. That doesn't mean avoiding men entirely. Well, not exactly. I'm just not used Mr. to it. Mr. Um, you've won internationally. Mr. Just a design Beautiful designer Xin Xiaoyue. Daddy. We respond to it directly. Daddy. Whose child is this? How ill men I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He didn't mean it. It's you? He really is my dad. Do you know that publicly claiming Mr. Lee as his dad, it reflects poorly on Mr. Lee's business? I'm really sorry. I'll make sure to watch him closely and not let him run around. Is a mere apology enough? Miss, do you know how expensive my watch is? Prepare the money and give me a call. Otherwise, my lawyer will take you to court. You... Handle your child responsibly. If you can't, then don't have him. Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Chen Xiaoxi, he dared to come back. It was a child. Mr. Lee, please respond. Guarding the child, Mr. Mr. Lee. Lee! Chen Xiaoxi, you're not dead after all. And you've even given birth to the child. Impossible. How can this be? I absolutely cannot let Xiao Yuan know what happened. Chen Xiaoxi, now that you've chosen to come back, you won't escape second time. No, do not run around in the future, and you cannot casually call someone dad. But he is really my dad. Why else would he look exactly like the person in the photos on your phone? I said he's not, so he's not. Do you hear me? Yeah, but you two clearly know each other. Miss Chen, it's your turn. Okay. Noah, stay here and don't run around. Wait for mommy to come back. Hi, general manager. I'm here to report on my performance. Sit, please. How could it be you? Wasn't it Yixing Design that acquired our studio? Yixing Design is a subsidiary of us, Jiayuan International. Years ago, Miss Chen deliberately went abroad and now you are back and doing everything you can to get close to me. Well, you want to take my money and disappear again? I've changed my mind about selling the studio. Find another one, Mr. Lee. Stop there. Do you think Jia Yuan International is where you can just come and go as you like? What do you mean? You were the one who cheated on me first. You even wanted me to get an abortion. I am too merciful to spit on you. When you left without a word, did you give me a chance to explain myself? What did you take me for? Li Jia Yuan, you are nobody in my eye. <laughs> Have you made a decision, Miss Chen? You've signed a letter of intent. If you back her now, could you afford the penalty? Besides, it will cost one million to repair my watch. Transfer the money to me immediately. Are you kidding me? I disagree. Well, did I agree when you just left without a vote? Did I agree when you unilaterally terminated a financing contract? Mr. Lee, have some self-respect. Mom, help! Whose bastard is this? You stain my clothes. You're asking for trouble. I won't let you off. Xin Xiao Yue. If you dare to touch my child, I will chop off your hand. Just as I thought, you bitch. You've been fooling around abroad for so many years, and now you have the audacity to bring your illegitimate child back? Shut up. If you dare to insult my child again, I won't mind humiliating you right here. You! Xia Yue, do something. Enough! Chen Xiaoxi, who gave you the courage to threat my people? Your people? I won't attack until I was attacked. And if I was attacked, I will retaliate a hundredfold. 
Chaeyeon, do something. The pastor she brought stained my clothes. They cost me tens of thousands. She even bullied me. So she took my money just to raise this kid. Whose child is this? Dad, of course I am your child. You little bastard. How dare you call him dad? I'll kill you. Xin Xiao Ye, don't you dare touch my son again. And if you cannot remember what I said, I don't mind giving you a lesson right now. Chia Yuan, she's gone too far. Do something, please. Li Chia Yuan, when choosing a woman in the future, open your eyes and see clearly. No, let's go. Hold on, Chen Xiaoxi. Do you think that you owe me apology? Don't go too far. Shouldn't you apologize to me? What if I don't apologize? What if I don't apologize? You guys stop fighting. Just now, I went to get some water. This old witch came over and deliberately bumped into me, then poured water on herself and blamed me for it. It's all her fault. You little bastard. You're just like your mom. Full of lies and nonsense. Security! Get him out of here! Security! Security! I'll pay the penalty. This company is not worthy of my cooperation. 50 million yuan penalty fee. Miss Chen, when do you plan to repay it? You don't need to worry about that. The agreement specifies three months, and given your financial situation, even 10 years is not enough for you. By that time, you will be in jail, and this kid will end up in an orphanage. You son of a bitch! With this contract signed, you will get the money shortly. As for how it will be distributed, I don't care. But I need you to start working tomorrow. What if I don't sign it? If you don't sign, you will need to pay the penalty right now. If you can't, such a big amount of money will put you in jail for at least 10 years. Let's go. Chen Xiaoxi, if he wasn't my child, he'd be down for. Chia Yuan, why did you give her the money? She doesn't deserve it. Oh. Should we check the surveillance footage and find out what actually happened? Do you think you owe her an apology? Chia Yuan, I've given you everything and yet you are angry with me because of that woman. <laughs> Do I need to tell you myself what happened six years ago? But Chia Yuan said we should get married. She is not me. I make my own decisions. I am busy. Please do not come to my company unless there is something important. In the end, you are just a dirty peasant. Sooner or later, I'll find a chance to crush you. Mom, that old witch said she would retaliate against you. How do you know? Because I can read people's minds. Dad said, if I'm not his child, You'll be in trouble. If he dares to touch me, he'll be in trouble. Let's go. Who the hell are you? I'm a new employee here. It's my first day at work. Please, let us through. How could I believe what you said? Anyway, you are too young to have a child. I guess you are a promiscuous woman. Our giant group doesn't need a woman like you. Get lost. Don't bully my mommy. You little punk. Keep your hands off my child or I will call the police. You wanna try me? What are you doing causing the scene at the entrance? It's bad for the company's sandwich. Hello, Mr. Gao. This lady brought her child here to cause trouble. She even lied that she's a new employee. I asked her to leave and she threatened to call the cops. Who are you there to cause trouble at Jiayue? I'm a new employee, Chen Xiaoxi. I just started yesterday. Where's your employee ID? I haven't got it yet. Looking good. I can have some. <laughs> Follow me to the office. I'll personally process it for you. What are you standing there for? Clear the way. He wants to harm my mom. I have to stop him. Mommy, you can't go with him. He wants to harm you. Sweetie, he won't harm me. It's okay. Let's go. <gasps> nice job. Take this for a smoke. Thanks, Miss Lee. Hey, Chai. The woman who used to entangle Chia Yuan is back again. I just saw her following Mr. Kao into the office. You better come and take a look. Keep an eye on this kid for me. I will get her the new employee ID. Got it, Mr. Kao. Mommy, I'm not leaving. I want to go with you. No, sweetheart. Mommy will be back soon. Go and play with her. Follow me. 
Over here. I need to take picture of you. Come a bit closer. I didn't hurt you just now, right? Mr. Gao, please, mind your manners. What are you doing? Whoa, you, a woman, on the first day of work, bringing a child with you. I bet your husband doesn't want you anymore. A woman like you, with no connections or background. It's difficult to climb up in the company. I can help you out. No need to trouble you, Mr. Gao. I'm out of here. I'm just looking out for you. As long as you serve me well, you will go places in this company. Let go of me! Let go! Mommy! Mommy, mom! What's happening? Daddy, go help mommy! Someone's hurting her! <laughs> mommy, mommy! Step aside! Chen Xiaoxi! Chen Xiaoxi! Mr. Li, Mr. Li, you gotta have my back on this. It's a crazy woman. I'm trying to get her ID. Accuse me of secretly taking her pictures. Mr. Li, you gotta vouch for me. Mr. Gao, even if my sister got you back, you can't do whatever you want in the company. And you, fighting and causing trouble on the first day of work. Miss Chen, shouldn't you give me an explanation? Explanation? Seriously, the Chen Yuan group has really let me down. I'd rather pass on this job. If you cannot deal with workplace relationships, I seriously doubt the capabilities of your studio. Looks like I have to reconsider the rank and the treatment of your studio's personnel. It's got nothing to do with that. You have to show me your abilities. Come to my office if you are up for it. <laughs> show me your professional opinions. Mr. Lee, now that we are colleagues, is what you're doing considered harassment? Clearly it's you, Miss Chen. Harassing me. But I don't mind. You! Well, let's just live our own lives and not disturb each other, okay? Sure. On a broader scale, there are no issues, but I suggest replacing the Banyan tree. Why? Its roots are causing serious damage to the building. What's more? It seems that in these years, you've been more than just a mom. It seems like you've got a bias towards working moms. Not at all. I just have an opinion about you. A mom shouldn't put her son through that kind of stress. So I'm here to strive for a better life. Mr. Lee, please, don't make it harder. You have good personal skills. The company's new project needs a design director. I think you'd be a good fit. I don't think so. I don't think so. When it comes to the role of design director, I have the final say. She's not suitable. Sister, why are you here? Why wouldn't I be? If I didn't show up, would she have put Mr. Kao through the ringer? I said Mr. Kao over here to help you. And what about you? Allowing a subordinate to get violent without repercussions. If you cannot handle her, I will. Are you the one who hit Mr. Kao? Yes, it was me. Apologize. I don't think I'm in the wrong. I think you are. Let me say it again. Apologize or hit the road. Sister, you have no authority to find my employee. Besides, it's Mr. Gao that... Regardless of what went down, I just know he got beaten up. He's your future brother-in-law. Are you going to turn against me for an outsider? Jia Yi, you finally showed up. You gotta stand up for me. Look at me. Bitch, kneel down or I'll call the police immediately and report you for assault. That would at least get you three years in prison. Sister. Shut up. If she doesn't apologize today, don't consider me your sister anymore. Kneel down or imprisonment. It's your call. <laughs> Sister, I appreciate you raising me all these years. But no one can stop me from doing what I want. If you think I'm not doing a good job, I can leave Javier International to you and go out on my own. I just hope you won't restrict me, okay? You're yelling at me for her. She's not wrong and she's very competent. With her help, the company's new project will quickly get approval. We don't need to worry about Jiayue International's business for the next three years. Well, I'll wait and see. But if the new project doesn't get completed, apologizing won't be enough. 
Thank you. Don't thank me. If we lost new project, you owe me 300 million. You! I have a meeting to attend now. Get ready. This is a contract signed with client. Keep it safe. Okay. Be careful. You've ruined it. This is a contract worth millions. Do you think Mr. Li will kick you out of Chaiyuan? We're not intentionally targeting you. It's Miss Li who doesn't like you. For us, we do think you're an eyesore. Mr. Li has never had a personal assistant. Clearly, he seduced him, working during the day and sleeping with him at night. I don't even have a cat. So shameless. Here. She even throws herself at Mr. Cap. She doesn't even realize her own behavior. You! Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee. Chen Xiaoxi carelessly ruined a contract worth millions, causing significant loss to our company. Firing her will be letting her off too easily. Go coordinate with the legal department. You're the best, Mr. Lee. Chen Xiaoxi, get ready to lose everything for intentionally damaging the company's contract. Go to the legal department to discuss compensation. Mr. If you say one more word, get out of Jiayue! Don't just stand here, can you speak up when you're being bullied? What are you doing? I helped you, shouldn't you say thank you? All the female employees here covet you. Do you really have no idea about this? No wonder your ex-girlfriend dumped you and went abroad. Chen Xiaoxi, don't go too far. Don't go too far. Hello? Nodo is reading your biological son. I've emailed the testing results to you. I see. Baby, the kindergarten teacher needs to review our enrollment documents. Today, he'll stay at mommy's company and behave well, okay? Can I see daddy? Chen Xiaoxi, don't go too far. Mommy, is there a misunderstanding between daddy and you? Baby, I've told you many times before, that's mommy's boss, not daddy. You behave and don't wander around, got it? Let's go. Baby, you can play here for a while and mommy will go work for a bit. Don't go around, okay? Be good. I have to go find daddy to help mommy explain the misunderstanding. Nono! Nono! Nono is missing. On the way here, he said he wanted to see you. Within one minute, I need all the surveillance records from this morning. Daddy! Mommy! Where did you go? Didn't I tell you not to wander around? Sorry. Mommy, this place is too big. And I couldn't find Daddy. Uncle said he has been working here for many years. And he can help me find Daddy. Mommy, don't worry. I know this uncle is a bad guy. I didn't go too far with him. I saw the child crying and he said he wants to find Daddy. So I just took him around the company. I didn't expect the Daddy he was looking for it. turned out to be Mr. Lee. I will let you guys talk. Chen Xiaoxi. Shouldn't you explain it to me? Mr. Lee, what do you mean? He doesn't have a father. Mommy, why did you lie? The daddy in the picture looks exactly like him. Hey, Chia Yuan, you betrayed me first. How dare you ask for an explanation? 
Mr. Lee, your flight to country C is at 10 o'clock. We need to leave now. It's just a small award ceremony. You can send anyone. Isn't that enough? This trip to country C is not just for a w a r d It's mainly to open up international trade channels. If we send a representative of company, they will think we are not sincere. Arrange it immediately. Tell me, what do you need? I just wonder if Miss c h i n is still interested in bringing Dong j i a y u n design. With you? I'm not interested in someone who serves two masters. I've heard that Miss c h i n went to great lengths to break up Mr. Lee and his girlfriend. Back then, don't you want to know how that woman is doing now? How do you know? Miss c h i n Now that woman is Mr. Lee's personal assistant. I thought if Chen Xiaoxi left, Chia Yuan would accept me. But after five years, Chia Yuan not only ignores me, but there's also no other woman by his side. Chen Xiaoxi can't compare to you. She's a bumpkin who hasn't seen the world, relying on her skills of seduction. But I heard that she also has a child. And that child even calls Mr. Lee daddy. Chen Xiaoxi, how dare she get a random child to call Chia Yuan daddy? Woman, sweetie. She's just、uh, taking care of a child all day, relying on him for pity. Mr. Lee is just soft-hearted, but I believe, as long as Miss Xin intervenes, Mr. Lee will definitely know who truly loves him. I hope so. Mr. Gao, what can I do for you? She, I know it's not easy for you to raise a child alone, but you can't let your child mistakenly call someone daddy. Mr. Lee is not someone you can aspire to, but I am different. Last time, didn't I help you find your child? I just wanted to bring us closer. As long as you serve me well, I promise you and your child an affluent life. Do you want to get bitten again? <laughs> Chen Xiaoxi, don't go too far. Mr. Ka, if there is nothing else, I'll leave first. Otherwise, who knows what rumors might spread? Wait. I called you in as soon as Mr. Li has left to have you follow up on this project. There have been some issues, and we need you to handle it. Mr. Ka, I remember I was Mr. Li's personal assistant. Not yours, right? Don't think that just because Mr. Li supports you doesn't mean you can do as you please. Do you know the relationship between me and Mr. Li? I know it's been circulating in the company. You only became a vice president because you got close to Mr. Li's sister. You. I don't mean anything else. I'm just worried that taking projects casually will cause dissatisfaction among colleagues. Don't worry. This is a major project of our company, and Mr. Li has been handling it. It's just that he's abroad now. Or is it mentioned that you don't have confidence in yourself? I have full confidence in my abilities. I just don't have confidence in Mr. Kao. What do you mean? If I resolve this matter tomorrow, Mr. Kao, please stop harassing me in the future. Okay? Don't speak so harshly. It's because I think highly of you. So you admit that you've harassed me many times before, including during the interview. Chen Xiaoxi, I hope you understand that without any connections, it's difficult to survive in the workplace. I understand. That's why I just want Mr. Kao to spare me. In that case, I'll go. If you don't agree, then forget it. Okay, I promise you. In the future, I won't bother you in the company. Is that enough? That's settled then. You bitch! Even if I promise, so what? I will make sure you have no way out tomorrow. These places are pretty good. However, some areas don't match the blueprints. For example, the hoist shouldn't be placed outside like that. It's too dangerous. Hey, Miss Jing. 
I'm overseeing the site, ensure nothing goes wrong. You're quite cunning. If something happens to Chen Xiaoxi, Chia Yuan will definitely give up the overseas business and rush back. I'll take over the foreign trade that Chia Yuan has been keeping an eye on for so long. If you let Chia Yi influence the old man and collaborate with a few major shareholders, we can sideline Chia Yuan. You can also eliminate the biggest obstacle. It's a win-win for us. Do you have any complaints? Hey Chang, take assistant Chen to have a good look. Miss Chen, I have something to attend to. I'm leaving. Hurry up! Prepare the operation room. Clear the way. Fast! Where is your family? Where is Jin Xiaoxi's family? Auntie, I am my mother's family. What's wrong with my mom? Why oh, is there only a child? Dad, mommy is dying. Come back quickly. Don't move. You will either lose your son or you will break your leg. How can I be relieved when you are like this? You don't have to pretend. Chen Xiaoxi, do you think I will allow you to run away from me again? Take care of your injuries. I'm going to take you and Nono back to the lease. Hey Chai Yuan, don't flatter yourself. Nono is not your child. Still pretending? I've done a paternity test. Nono is my son. So what? I won't give Nono back to you. What are you doing in the company? Li Jiayuan has returned to China. Why so guilty? I arranged for that person. You're afraid of Chia Yuan, but you're not afraid of me. It's all your brilliant idea. Chia Yuan International's foreign trade has already been settled. He went to country C this time, also to develop new business. They don't even care about our Hong Tu design. And Chen Xiaoxi surely broke her leg. After resting for 10 days or half a month, she can still seduce Chia Yuan. But you can't come to the company to find me. Can't we just cut things over the phone? Find you? I'm here to find Chia Yuan. But Chen Xiaoxi is still a cripple. I must take Chia Yuan down. Did you hear that? Mr. Li, as you asked, I've investigated and find out that Miss Chen's accident was not accidental but deliberate. I'm sorry, Mr. Li. I failed to stop her. You can leave now. What are you doing here? I got it. Dad, this aunt said she wanted to kiss you. Where did the gift come from? He scared me. I'm new old auntie. You are very rude. A bastard is a bastard. Just as annoying as Tin Xiaoxi. I'm not a bastard. My kindergarten friend said those without a dad are bastards. I have a dad. My dad is here. Miss Chi, since you are here, have a cup of tea before leaving. Chiao Yuan, what are you doing? Kneel down. Chia Yuan, let me explain. Explain? It will be better if I break your leg. And then explain to you. Six years ago, you created misunderstandings between me and she, causing her to give birth abroad. Now you are even more ruthless, wanting to kill her. Xin Xiaoyue. You can't tolerate Xiao Xi, and I can't tolerate you either. What are you doing? Don't you like living abroad? Then go abroad to accompany my mother. Never come back again. Don't you like living abroad? Then go abroad to accompany my mother. Never come back again. Take her out. Behave yourself. Get up. Move.
getting? Trying to hide from me. Chen Chiaoxi resisted. He fell for this comeback back then, close affectionate eyes of his. Literally, knowing the limits is a basic quality of an adult. You're my boss, not my husband. I hope you understand your identity clearly. Don't worry, without your consent, I won't touch you. Also, considering your physical condition, recently I will pick up and drop off Nono at school. Why? Don't you trust me? After all, I'm Nono's dad. Mr. Lee. So proactive early in the morning. Who's being proactive? I am. What are you doing? Put me down! Your leg just recovered. If you get injured again, I will deduct your salary. Where is she? I don't know. Tell her later that there are many typos in this document. Ask her to fix them. I cannot do it. If you have any concerns, talk to her yourself. Here is now Mr. Kao's person. Both of you have backers. Don't involve me. Actually, you all misunderstood. There is nothing between Mr. Lee and me. Okay, see you tonight. Are you busy? Am I busy? Can't you say it yourself? You've got a lot of typos in this document. It's nonsense. So what? It has to be rewritten. Rewriting is fine. But let Mr. Kao tell me that. Don't think that just because you've gotten close to Mr. Lee, so you're the boss's wife. Mr. Kao, do you think I'm afraid of him? I'll give you five minutes. Five minutes later, if I don't see a new document, I'll let Mr. Kao handle this matter himself. Are you sure you don't want to rewrite it? Now the whole company knows, when Chen Xiaoxi first came, she fought with Mr. Kao. During the interview, they don't get along. I am now Mr. Kao's person, why should I endure her? Mr. Kao doesn't spoil her like Mr. Lee. So what if she complains to Mr. Lee? Complain? I've got it all figured out. If she's going to complain, I'll take this document without typos to Mr. Lee. By then, he wouldn't blame me. He'll definitely think Chen Xiaoxi was careless. Let me tell you, men are sick of women being unreasonable. What? Mr. Kao, even elementary school students know you cannot have typos in your writing. Your subordinate made numerous typos in this important document. I asked her to rewrite it. That's not too much to ask, is it? I thought it was something. So, Miss Chen, who always fights against everything and everyone, has times when she can't handle things either? I'd love to help you, but I'm just a vice president. I really can't do much. How about you go complain to Mr. Lee and let him support you? Who knows, if Mr. Lee gets unhappy, he might fire her. At that time, Miss Chen, you will become the target of everyone's criticism because of the exclusion of colleagues. I'm afraid that being a target, it can only dealt by you, Mr. Kao. You gotta resolve this matter tomorrow. Mr. Kao, please stop harassing me in the future, okay? Don't speak so harshly. It's because I think highly of you. So, you admit that you've harassed me many times before, including during the interview. 
I heard that Mr. Cow, you have been pursuing Miss Lee recently. I wonder if after Miss Lee listens to this recording, she will still believe in you and continue to support you. I'm afraid that without Miss Lee's support, her position as vice president might not be secure. You cunning woman, using such despicable means to scheme against me. Dealing with despicable people requires using despicable means. Mr. Kao, take care of this document. In 10 minutes, Mr. Lee needs it at the meeting. Please, take it to the conference room. Mr. Kao, what are you doing? You scared me. You can mess with anyone but her. Redo this document immediately. Mr. Kao, why are you so fierce? It was Chen Xiaozi who got the wrong document. Shut up. It was she who got the wrong document. If you have this, give it to her directly. Stop playing these tricks in front of me. Not everyone is like you, big chested and brainless. Last time it was Mr. Lee who backed her up. This time, even Mr. Kao, who doesn't get along with her, had to listen to her. Who exactly is this Chen Xiaoxi? Mr. Kao, you really considerate of your subordinates, personally delivering documents to Mr. Lee. Assistant Chen, you're being polite. Not bad. It's only been a few days, and you have already dealt with the biggest troublemaker in my hands. Thank you, Mr. Lee. By the way, you don't have to pick up Noah today. Why? School got out early today. I've sent a friend to pick him up. Dad, can you pick up Nuo from school tomorrow? Of course. Tomorrow. There's a parent-child sports event at school, but Mom insists on having Uncle Cho attend on your behalf. You must come, okay? Okay. Letting another man participate in my son's parent-child sports event. Chen Xiaoxi, perhaps I've spoiled you too much. Prepare the car. Go to the kindergarten. Chu. Look at you. You must be tired. Don't worry. It's not started yet. Let's go inside. Chu. I have found no dad. But, but I haven't prepared myself to accept him again. I had to ask you to come today to participate in Noah's parent-child sports meeting. I had no choice. I don't want Noah's classmates to mock him for not having a father. She. You know, whenever you need me, I will be there. Hello, Mr. Cho. Has no one ever told you etiquette and decency? And don't be a cheater. Li Chia Yuan, you're going rogue again. Let me go. Behave yourself. Let her go. Did you forget how he treated her back then? I will never allow such a thing to happen again. Is that so, Miss Cho? You are the first man to be so confident in front of me. Can you really do it? Two, you'd better go first. But you... I'm fine. Why would Mr. Cho participate in a parent-child activity like this? Do you have any shame? Darling, save your coquettishness for later. Don't do it in front of others. Who's your darling? Let's go. The games are about to begin. Daddy, you must come, okay? Didn't you say your dad will come to the sports meeting day? You're lying. My dad promised me he will come. You lie. If your dad doesn't come today, I won't play with you anymore. My mom said I can't be friends with kids who lie. I'm not lying. My dad will be here soon. What's all this noise? 
Children without fathers are just uncultured. I have to see your dad come to school. You lie to my dad all the time, saying that your dad is a big boss at such a young age. Why are you so vain? And your mom, who knows if she's living a decent life, are married and pregnant. My mom is not that kind of woman. Shut up. Who allowed you to speak so loudly? We're talking to your elders. It's implied. How can my child and Tai study together with a kid like you? Is that so? Dad! You're his dad? Impossible. He must be someone she found somewhere. Some dubious man. If he has a dad, why is the father's name filled empty on his forms? Oh, well, I also wonder why, darling. I... Your child isn't suitable to study here. Go and process the withdrawal procedures immediately. You don't rent the school? How dare you talk like that? Buy it if you can. That's exactly what I'm considering. Please go and handle the transfer procedures for the kindergarten. I will send you the name in a moment. You... What's the point of you buying the school? My wife's aunt is principal. You are just a businessman. The school won't listen to you. Thanks for the reminder. The principal will replace the two. Is he really Nono's father? Please don't. This school, I put a lot of effort to get a child admitted. I don't mean anything else. I just want to show some concern for a child. No need to bother. Take care of yourself. How come? You're not happy after getting first place? Why make others drop out of school? I'm just teaching my son how to fight back when faced with unfairness. You're going to spoil him. You are allowing others to harm him. Mom is angry. Go and comfort her quickly. Dad, to thank you for helping me win first place, I'm going to tell you a secret. Chen Xiaoxi, it must be tough for you to raise a child alone. I also want to fulfill my responsibilities as a father. Besides, what happened back then isn't what you think it is. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that you and her just slept in each other's arms for one night and did nothing else? Li Yuan, do you really think I'm a three-year-old? Chen Xiaoxi, can't you trust me once? Mr. Li, I've already forgotten about the past. I don't care what the truth is. Right now, I just want to live peacefully with Noah. I hope you don't disturb us, Noah. Chen Xiaoxi, you keep saying that you forgot about the past. Then why do you still keep our photos? I often see mom staring at your old photos alone. I think at that time, mom must have missed you a lot. <laughs> Miss Lee, the kindergarten matter has been settled. Mr. Lee, I've already forgotten about the past. I don't care what the truth is. Right now, I just want to live peacefully with Noah. I hope you don't disturb us. I often see mom staring at your old photos alone. Hello? Dad, Uncle Cho prepared lots of roses for mom. And he also wanted to have dinner at our house. Come to our house quickly. Noah doesn't want him to eat at home. Okay. I will be right there. Nona, Uncle made a favorite French fries for you. Chill, take a break. Or maybe you should go back first. I just want to cook a meal for you and Nona. Yes, I came here today with purpose. She, after all these years, can't you see whether my love for you is genuine? You're still thinking about Li Jiayue. When you were in life-threatening situation abroad, where was he? When Nono was sick and you had no one to turn to, where was he? Where are the mugs, Nono? Where was he? She, I want to take care of you and Nono, okay? Give me a chance. I will do well.
No, no. Go wait for daddy in the car. Dad has something to take care of. I will take you and mom home later. Okay. Mr. Lee, listen to me. Call me husband. Didn't I warn you? Stay away from my woman. You are just relying on a few measly dollars to show off everywhere. Did you ask she if she still wants to be with you? I'm the one who loves her with all my heart. So she won't be happy with you. Li Qiayuan! Li Qiayuan! Do you have to cause a tragedy before you stop? I'll go with you, okay? Handle your own woman yourself. Go, Dad! Candlelight dinner with another man. What are you angry about? It's me who should be angry. This is... You once said that you wanted to decorate the room like this. I remember it all. Over there is the kids' room for our son. Also designed according to your ideas. Xiao Xi, I... Stop talking. A child should sleep in the children's room. Good night, mom and dad. Good night. It seems that tonight my wife can only make do with me. Don't you have any other rooms here? No. I'll sleep in the sofa. Go inside. No. I will sleep on the sofa. <laughs> will you really? Dad! Chen Xiaoxi, do you really want to avoid me so much? I'll give you one day. I want to stay in here. Mom? Mr. Lee, thank you for taking us home. We can stop here. We'll go inside ourselves. You said I was giving you a ride. So you are... Going home. Since when did you start living here? Hello, new neighbor. Nice to meet you. Sam, come over to play. Chen Xiaoxi, came back home with me. Still thinking of sneaking out? Fine. Then I will move next door to you. Let's see which man dares to provoke you. Sister, what are you doing here? Where did you take Xiao Ye? How did you know that? Think about the people under your command. Who else would they listen to besides you? Grandpa. Grandpa knows she's back. Her specifically asked me to remind you this woman wants to marry into the lease. No way. Just like back then. Grandpa's words have been delivered. You can leave now. Li Chaiyuan, you are too cruel. Xiao Ye is scared to come back because of you. Xiao Ye loves you so much compared to this woman. I don't know how many times stronger she is. Even Grandpa approves. Are you blind? I'm blind. That's why I believed her lies. Letting Xiao Xi suffer for so many years. What do you mean? What? Didn't she tell you? I will go explain to Grandpa. 
I advise you to stay away from Xin Xiaoyue. If Grandpa finds out, it's because of her that he couldn't recognize his only grandson. He'll be even harsher than me. Who knows where she brought that illegitimate child from? Too dare to admit him? Women like Zheng Xiaoxi. Shut up. Don't insult Xiaoxi. Psycho. <gasps> Mom, are you eavesdropping? It's a doll's matter. Don't interfere. How's it going? I think he's determined to be with that woman. From what I heard, he is certain that the child is his. What did Grandpa say? He doesn't know about the grandson yet. Jai, we must not let Grandpa know that a grandson exists. What? Think about it. The woman's strong willed. Li Jiawen hasn't even announced the existence of the child yet. It means he definitely hasn't won over Chen Xiaoxi. Grandpa is getting old. If he finds out about grandson, he will leave all his property to him. Then he will have nothing left. You care so much about the property of the lease. Could it be that you are with me for money? I'm worried. Worried that as Li's daughter. He will have nothing in the end and be despised by others. Fine, I believe you. Jia Yi, you must believe my love for you has no impurities. So what should I do now? Find a way to contact Miss Qing first. I will make sure you get everything you deserve. Noah's cooking skills are getting better. Come, Mom will reward you with a kiss. I made this breakfast. Your kiss can be rewarded to me. What are you doing here? Nono asked me to come over. I didn't see anything. No, how can you open the door to a stranger? How did mom teach you about this? Mom, dad is not a stranger. But still, it's not allowed. Mom is angry. Mom is clearly very happy. Mom shouldn't lie. Come here. I won't. Dad, protect me. All right, let's eat breakfast now. Otherwise, you will be late for school. Thank you, Dad. I'm starving. What's with the changing attitude when our son leaves? Li Chaiyuan. You deliberately approached me and Noah like this. What exactly are you after? I just want to take care of you and our son. There is really no need for it. You are living very well now. I don't want to continue this entanglement with you. What happened back then was just a misunderstanding. Why can't you give me the opportunity to explain? <laughs> Listen to your explanation about how you ended up with Xin Xiaoye back I then. I was framed. Do you think I'm stupid? Why didn't you say so back then? Have you given me the opportunity to explain? You didn't even answer my calls. I didn't answer your calls. But couldn't you try harder to reach me? You had an ambiguous relationship with Zhou Fei back then. You even went abroad with him. So, this is the truth, isn't it? You never believed me. I don't believe you. Have you ever trusted me? Li Jiayuan, I won't go back with you. And I don't want to marry into the lease. Maybe. You were afraid back then. But this also proves that our relationship isn't blessed by your family. This makes me feel too... Release me! Let go of me! I won't. You will run away again. Let go of me! I'll answer the phone! Xiaoxi, there is an alumni gathering this weekend. You and No No can come together. I... Our family of three will arrive on time. Childish. I really let you go once back then. This time, I definitely won't miss you again. Xiaoxi, it's really you, Xiaoxi. Who is this? Oh, this is my... Husband. Boss. You're married? I... Our child is already six years old. Hello, auntie. I heard a couple of years ago that you and she were abroad together. Your child is six years old. So you were already married back then? I'm not. 
She hasn't been in a relationship all these years. Isn't it all because of you? And you. You got married and still persistently cling to him. Chen Xiaoxi, you've gone too far. Someone else has gone too far. Mr. Chu knew that Xiaoxi was pregnant, yet he kept bothering her repeatedly. As the father of the child, I have been very generous. I heard that today Mr. Chu organized a class reunion. Considering the unpleasant experience I had with him, I brought my wife and child to explain things to him. This young lady, could you please move out of the way? Take into another room with money? Hey, Xiao Xi's here. You should still remember this person. Come over and have Don't a touch seat. Her. Is this Mr. Lee from Jiving Group? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Everyone, please have a seat. Xiao Xi, this is your fault, isn't it? When did you get in touch with Mr. Lee without even saying a word? So what if I have contact with Mr. Lee? Rich people looking for women is like playing games. They don't like the someone like Chen Xiaoxi. Are they really interested in her? She was so good to you. If you didn't cherish it, you rushed to become a rich man's plaything. If they get bored with you, you will be thrown away like garbage. You, a my minded woman, will face consequences. My dad is not that kind of person. You're not allowed to say that about my mom. No, don't be so rude. Sit. Yeah, kid. Your mother admitted it herself. Chen Xiaoxi, you will regret losing you. That's enough. Don't embarrass Xiao Xi. Let her make her own choice. Xiao Xi has no other choice but to be my wife in this lifetime. Who are you to make decisions for Xiao Xi? Looks like you didn't get enough beating last time. Oh, Gu is here. But Gu may not be willing to help you. Oh, I have a meeting. I will leave you guys to it. Mr. Chow, relationships should be based on mutual affection. Even if you take it by force, you still need capital. You have neither Xiao Xi's affection for you, nor the capital. I kindly remind you that intervening in someone else's marriage will only bring shame upon yourself. I bring shame upon myself. Xiao Xi. I just ask you once, will you choose him or choose me? Okay, okay. Xiaoxi, I... What's wrong with her? I don't know! <laughs> Chen Xiaoxi, can't you let go of Li Jiayuan? I've wasted so many years of my feelings for nothing. Why? Hello, I am Mr. Da Vinci's assistant. Regarding the artworks you said earlier, there is one piece that Mr. Da Vinci really likes. We would like to use it in the exhibition in City A. Can you give me the contact information of the artist of this work? It's me. You can tell me directly. Chen Xiaoxi, you are ruthless. Don't blame me for being heartless. Does your mom always lock you out of room when she's angry? My mom didn't do this before. It's because of you, Dad. If your mom gets angry, how do you solve it? My mom usually doesn't get angry with me. What if she does? Do you have any ideas? Yes! I overheard last time that mom wanted to go to an art exhibition but couldn't get tickets. Thank you, Nono. What's the matter, Xiaoxi? This painting. Miss, do you like this painting? May I ask who the artist of this painting is? Excuse me, are you a VIP customer? I'm sorry, but our artist meet and greet event is only for VIP customers of the exhibition. This painting is my work. Your work? May I have your name, please? Chen Xiaoxi. Sorry, I don't have your name. 
I would like to see your person in charge. Just casually, you don't just want to meet our person in charge. If you cause any trouble, I'll call security. Take this card and swipe it until we become your VIP. She wouldn't lie. If she says the penny is hers, it must be hers. Okay, just a moment. I'll tell you two to attend our artist meet and group and then arrange for you to meet separately. <laughs> Mr. Chu, these two guests want to meet you. Chu, why did you use my painting without permission? As your brother Chu, do I need to use your painting? But I did give you that painting. You also said you were sending it to Mr. Da Vinci as a backup piece for the exhibition. And now, it's in Mr. Da Vinci's art exhibition. Shouldn't you explain it to me? Indeed, I still don't understand you enough. Now it's not like when you were crying your eyes out after being cheated on by that man. He got your backer, and now he you turned your back on people. Chen Xiaoxi, I underestimated you. Two, these are two different things. Which gentleman is buying all the paintings here? It's you? Yo, Xiaoxi, long time no see. I remember the last time we meet overseas. I told you, you were talented. Are you still painting now? Sir, thank you for your help back then. I am now working as a designer in a listed company. This is my... Hello, I'm Chen Xiaoxi's current boss. Why aren't you playing by the rules? Are you having a change of heart now? Do you miss the time when I call myself your husband? Nonsense. The old man looks strict and serious. If I said I'm your husband, he would definitely think I'm a biased. If he wants some sweet words, Wait until I get painting back. It's you who wants to buy all the pennies here. It's me. But before that, I would like Mr. Da Vinci to be a witness. You are Mr. Da Vinci? Witness? What kind of witness? Witness the authenticity of a painting. I've always respected the literary and the artistic creation, since both my staff and Mr. Cho think that the painting in your exhibition belongs to them. Paint it again, and let you, sir, be the judge of to whom this painting truly belongs. Okay, no problem. Sir, what are you afraid of? Did you really take something that belongs to someone else? Come on. Chu, you have put in a lot of effort to imitate my work. You must have practiced for quite some time. Xiaoxi, that's not true. This is clearly my work. Also, you imitated it in form. You couldn't capture its essence. Is that so? Mr. Da Vinci didn't say anything. Why are you talking nonsense here? The secret of the moon. It's interesting. No wonder it looked familiar to me from the beginning. Chu Fei, you are a liar. How dare you use someone else's painting? Don't show your face in this circle anymore. Why do you say it's not my painting? Others may not see it, but unfortunately you encountered me. This is a special painting technique of mine. Only recorded it in my book. And I happen to be a fan of Mr. Da Vinci. I collect every book of his, and this painting was also made by me to pay tribute to Mr. Da Vinci. What do you have to say? What else to tell him? I've already called the police. Xiaoxi, Xiaoxi, it's my fault. Forgive me this time. You know she will forgive you, and you still say you like her. Using her weakness to deceive her and hurt her. Even if Xiaoxi lets you go, I'm not gonna let you go. Xiaoxi, I'm responsible for this too. I didn't check the painting properly. I'm very ashamed. Teacher, don't say that. Ah, since the gentleman bought the painting for the sake of Xiaoxi, now that the truth has come to light, I don't think you need to spend any money. That's okay. I bought the painting for Xiaoxi. I haven't asked yet. Li Jiayuan of Jiayuan International. Mr. Li, nice to meet you. As compensation, please allow me to take Xiao Xi to meet our colleagues and introduce her to them. You are so happy today. Yeah, I'm very happy today. Is it necessary to be so happy to see an old man? Please watch your words. He's not an old man, okay? He's a brilliant gentleman.
From now on, don't place other men in front of me. Not even an old man. Your mom is angry. Why is it always the same routine? It's different this time. This time, mom's lips are bleeding. You little brat. And this time, mom said she was very angry. How do you know? Did mom tell you? Mom told me not to tell anyone I'm a mind reader. Can I tell dad? Forget it. Your mom doesn't want to say it. That won't make it difficult for you either. Dad is leaving now. Behave yourself at home. Dad thinks he's not wrong. Looks like this time both of them won't be wrong. It doesn't matter. It's up to Nuo this time. I've heard so many inner thoughts today that I'm dizzy with hunger. Assistant uncle, I need your help with something. Where did the flowers come from? Xiaoxi, someone sent flowers to you. I don't know. Childish. It seems that there is a situation. Tons of nonsense. Assistant Wang, please give this to Mr. Lee and have him sign it. Thank you. You're welcome. Come in. Mr. Lee, these documents need your signature. I thought I saw Chen Xiaoxi receiving a bunch of flowers just now. Yeah, it's big bouquet. Quite beautiful. She seems pretty happy. Just don't know who said it. Shut up. Did I ask you to say so much? As if I were blind? Is it that what you are asking? What else did you hear? I also heard that. Just say it. I heard she was meeting someone tonight. It seems like a date. Give this to her. She can leave when she's done. Ah, uh, Mr. Lee, it makes you jealous. But you shouldn't act recklessly. Well, Nona's plan is ruined now. Chen Xiaoxi. Oh my, are you okay? I didn't see you just now. Let me wipe it off for you. No need to bother, Miss Lee. Who are you showing that sour face to? Could it be that you really think that you can enter our Lee's house? Let me tell you, Chen Xiaoxi, as long as I'm here, you can forget about being with Chia Yuan. Miss Lee, don't get agitated. It's lunch break now. Everyone is resting. This little issue, I can handle it myself. Are you saying that I'm disturbing everyone's rest? I didn't say that. Excuse me. Hey, wait, please. I'm not moving. What can you do? What's going on? Chia Yuan, you're here just in time. I accidentally bumped into your assistant a bit. Look at her attitude, acting as if I did something so wrong to her. She's the first to complain. You did treat her unfairly. What did you say? She is supposed to accompany me this afternoon to meet an important client. You made her clothes dirty, and she's very upset. Then this show her serious attitude towards work, says, don't go too far. Li Chia Yuan, what do you mean for this woman? You don't even give your sister face in the company? I'm just talking about the matter at hand. So what you mean is, she intentionally contradicted me today, and we should just let it pass? Of course we can let it pass. I will take her to meet a client an hour earlier and buy her a new set of clothes on the way. Kao is right. This Xiaoxi is indeed a vixen. Don't think that just because you defended me just now, I will forgive you. You are right. What did you say? Xiaoxi, you're always right. I will always stand by your side, believe you and understand you. Can we get back together? You're not forcing me to marry you anymore. Mm. But I'm going to pursue again. Pursue you properly, until I win you over. If so, aren't you afraid that I'll make trouble with your sister every day? 
My sister can be a bit willful at times. You don't need to indulge her bad habits. No matter when, I will always stand by your side. That's reasonable enough. Then, have you forgiven me? Sort of. Then, do you agree at starting over again? Don't bullshit. I only agreed to let you pursue me again. Okay. Let go. We're not alone. Yes, my dear girlfriend. I haven't agreed yet. Why aren't you working on weekends instead of coming to my house early in the morning? Chelsea, I thought about it. In order to better take care of you and Noah, I've decided to move in with you. You! Welcome, Dad. Li Chia Yuan, I just warned you yesterday not to push your luck. I just think that No must want to live with mom and dad, right? I'd love to. You see? My son doesn't even want to let me go. No way! When I rented this house, I told the landlord that it will be only me and the child. Now that you're here, what if the landlord troubles me? You don't need to worry about this. I bought this house. You really have nerve. Mom, don't lie to yourself. I know you also want to live with Dad. You little brat. If you keep reading minds, I won't buy snacks for you anymore. Let's go to the study and talk. If you insist on staying here, fine. But we need to set some ground rules. Go ahead. Firstly, you must not enter my room at will. Secondly, fulfill Noah's requests as much as you can. Thirdly, in front of Noah, there mustn't be any inappropriate behavior. I can promise you the first and second rules. Before the third one, do you mean that if Noah is not around, I can cross the boundaries? Sorry, my mistake. I've overlooked it. The third rule should be amended to at any time. No inappropriate behavior is allowed. What if it's Noah who asked for it? How could Noah possibly ask for such a thing? He's so young, he doesn't understand anything unless you teach him bad things behind my I'm back. I'm saying just in case. Refer to the second rule. No, Dad and Mom sleep together. I'm really happy. My dear boy, you're a real asshole to your mom. You can go now. What did you say? I said, you can go to your room and go to sleep. No! I promised Nando that we would sleep together. You can't lie to a child. He's asleep now. He wouldn't know. I don't want to. Rascal. Hey, you! Rogue, why are you holding me? Mom, you can't blame Dad for this. It was you who climbed into Dad's arms this morning. See? Children never lie. But mom, I heard dad saying that he can't control himself. What does it mean that he can't control himself? Chen Xiaoxi, are you trying to murder your husband? Both of you, get out! Dad, why is mom so angry? Mom is not angry. She's just a shy. Is it because I asked about the can't control himself part? Then, if you can't control yourself, what will happen? Nothing much. Noah would just have a little sister. Then, I want a little sister, Dad. Don't control yourself. Alright, your mom said that I will fulfill all of your requests. 
I will try my best. But no, how do you know? What's on my mind? Mom told me not to tell anyone. But I think since Dad has already slept in the same bed with us, he shouldn't be considered a stranger. In fact, I can read minds. Mind reading? I can hear what you guys are thinking. But if I listen for too long, I will feel hungry and even dizzy. No, you're so amazing. But next time when you're hungry, you must tell Dad. However, sometimes, if I hear unpleasant words, I would also feel unhappy. Bad people say unpleasant things just to make us unhappy. Promise me, don't fall for it. Okay, Dad. Actually, I'm already very happy. Because now I have both Mom and Dad. We should never be apart. Okay. Let's eat something. Poor Lu. Should I give him another chance? <laughs> What's your words when we get to the office later? If these gossip-loving women find out we're living together, who knows what they might say? Maybe they'll say I seduced you. Seduced? I have to admit, I was indeed seduced. What I mean is that office romances aren't very friendly to working women. People might think I got into Chiayuan because of you. Isn't it like that? Xiao Xi, I want to be your support. You, in my career, I rely on my own abilities. Right. <laughs> They seem inseparable at the office. Are they going public? Please, Chen Xiaoxi. I don't know what trick she used to win over Mr. Li. Do you mean... Most likely, she slept with him. <laughs> Miss Li. Let's talk. Chen Xiaoxi, I'm warning you, stop pestering Chia Yuan. You're nothing but a country bumpkin who doesn't deserve to be with Chia Yuan. I don't deserve. Miss Li, in your opinion, who's the best match? I get it. It's Chen Xiaoye, who can even stoop so low as to drug man, right? What are you talking about? If you called me here just for this boring matter, then I'll go back to work. My brother is soft-hearted. Aren't you just relying on that illegitimate child to keep him under your control? There are plenty of women who want to have children with Chia Yuan. Even without Xiao Yue, I can still make him dump you. Miss Li, slandering others can lead to legal consequences. Didn't Li Chia Yuan tell you he took Nuo's hair for a paternity test? He keeps saying Nuo is a bastard. Do you want to break up the lease? Chen Xiaoxi, don't do this the hard way. Miss Li, you're all talk and no action. Why are you getting angry with this country bumpkin? Look at her attitude, thinking she could rise to the top because of her son and become a phoenix. Miss Li does care about that child, and the child is indeed unusual. How about... Chen Xiaoxi, let's see how arrogant you can be. Where did you take your son to skip school? What? So you want to deny it? The teacher said that you had someone pick up no early. You're not guilty. Where is he now? I'm still at the office, and I didn't have anyone pick up no. I when I just went to pick up Noah, the teacher said he had already been picked up by someone who picked up Noah. You bad person don't think you can separate me from mom and dad. Well done. We should put on a full show called this Brad's mother. And demand more money. Your child is now in my hands. Prepare the money immediately. How much was it? One hundred thousand. Sun Xiaoxi, if you don't want anything to happen to your son, leave Jiayuan International. Leave Li Jiayuan.
Just to leave Jiayuan International, leave Li Jiayuan. Gao Wei, are you sure you can afford the price of kidnapping my son? Mr. Li, I don't have the guts. Let me tell you the truth. It's your sister. She doesn't like Chen Xiaoxi and this kid. You know that I rely on her sister in Jiayuan International. I have to do everything for her. What do you mean? The person who wanted to kidnap Luo was Li Jiayi? Gao Wei, stop trying to confuse things. Even if Li Jiayi is foolish, she wouldn't harm the descendants of the Li group. Where is the kid? Your sister was right. You're really protective of her. It seems I can't stay at Jiayi International anymore. Alright, since you already know I won't hold back. Put Temeli on my card. Don't call the police. I will free the kid once I get the money. Okay, give me the address. I will send the money in cash. Don't come any closer or I will strangle him, Li Jiayuan. You set me up. You have no choice but to let him go. You have no other choice. I thought that where is my money? Do you have the life to spend it? Where is the money? Don't touch him, Jiayuan. Do something. Money's been transferred. Check it. Go away. Do I have to tell you what to do? I have one last request. Let me call Jia Yi. Why don't you go to hell? After this call, I will let the little bird go. Let him do it. Don't hurt Nuo. Jia Yi, I did what you told me to do. You must make sure I leave safely. Give it to me. Hello. Go away. This is Li Meepun. I don't care whether you can leave safely or not. If you dare touch my grandson, I will make you regret it for the rest of your life. Jiayuan told me that he said I will leave family's grandson. Are you out of mind? Grandpa, I just wanted to teach Chen Xiaoxi a lesson. You have no idea how outrageous she is. I told you before. I told you to keep this woman away. But now, not only is she back, she's even brought Jiayuan a child. Since the child bears the Lee's surname, you shouldn't lay a finger on him. Jiayi, how can I not understand this? You really disappointed me. Dad, the bad uncle wants to jump out the window. I've given you the child. What more do you want? What do you think? If you call the police, I will expose her sister as well. You know me. I will say that she's the mastermind behind all this. What did Jai see in you? Ah, it hurts. It hurts. How much does your sister hate you to not even spare your son? Xiao Xi, I understand how you feel. But believe me, my sister is simple-minded. Gawei must have instigated this. Even when your son was kidnapped, you didn't blame her once. How can you expect me to believe that you'll stand up for me? I've told you before. My parents died in an accident when I was young. Actually, it was because I was mischievous. They had the accident while trying to save me. My sister has held on to this grudge all these years. If it weren't for me, we wouldn't have ended up as orphans. It's my fault. I failed to protect Nono. That's not what I meant. It's not your fault. Dad got hurt? Where are you hurt? He broke the skin here. Unexpectedly. You're quite concerned about me, huh? I... I'm not. Really not? Nuo is watching Dad. I can't see. Just kiss. Okay. Dad, I'm hungry. Xiaoxi, I will definitely protect you anymore. Let's go. Have something to eat. Hey, Mr. Gao. It really is you. Huh? What happened? Got fired? What do you mean fired? This is called a resignation. Then where are you going to work? None of your business. You used it to treat us like training dogs. Now you are facing this. You deserve it. Chen Xiaoxi, Li Jiayuan, I will make you pay for this. <laughs> Mom, Dad 
needs help. I know. So I took your toy spoon for your dad. Hey, Mom. You said you would take me to the amusement park on my birthday. You can't go back on your word. I remember. The promise to Noah. How could I possibly forget? Look, I've already bought the ticket. Then I also want to eat at McUncle. Okay, let's eat there. Son, Dad wants to go too. Then Dad should also come along. He's injured. Let it be. Get well first. Son, convince your mom. Mommy, you always said that one should be kind. Leaving him alone at home with no one to care for him is so pitiful. He has plenty of people to take care of him and with his minor injuries. But mom, dad got hurt because of me. I really want him to join us. Other kids all have their moms and dads with them. If dad doesn't go, I'll be laughed at by others. Okay, we'll go together then. Noah's ability to read people's minds is really brilliant. Come on, let's eat. This guy is so handsome. Stop acting like a silly fangirl. Look at how big their kid is. You know you are afraid of heights, but still try to act tough. Thank you. It's all because of you saying in front of Noah that I'm a coward. Mommy, you're very brave. Here's your reward. Thank you, sweetie. Hey, Dad. Mom got uncomfortable because she was trying to keep me company, so I want to use the remaining few coins to treat Mom to something delicious, okay? Of course you can. Don't forget our plan. Are you two planning something behind my back? Of course not. No, no, Mommy. I was just saying that the ice cream is delicious. Look at you. Let's eat. Good boy. The plan officially begins. Dear customers, congratulations on being the 10,000th diner in our store. You can participate in our lucky draw. Wow, Mom. You should go for the lucky draw. Me? Go ahead. Here you go. Wow! Congratulations to this lady for winning the jackpot! You are the luckiest customer in our restaurant today. All of your expenses in our restaurant today can be waived. Congratulations! Mom, you're really so lucky. Xiaoxi, you actually won a free meal. You're incredibly lucky today. How about we go buy lottery tickets later? Why does this feel a little fishy? I won the prize! Give it to me! Give it to me! Ah, I can't reach it. Are you tired? No. Uh I won again! You've won again? Mom, you're so amazing. Let's go! Are you tired? Do you want to go for a cup of milk tea? Yes, Mom. You were great today. Maybe later, even the milk tea could be free. Well done, son. Are you two hiding something from me? No, I just saw that Noah was a bit tired, so I wanted to take him for a rest. Yes, Mom, I'm so tired. I want to go to the milk tea shop nearby to take a rest. I'll go there alone first. You two stay right where you are. I'd like to see what you're up to behind my back. Congratulations! Wait, I haven't been chosen as the lucky customer yet. Getting free milk tea, have I? Ma'am, you are our store's 88th lucky customer. We present you with a beautiful large diamond ring. 
Mom, is this real or fake? Silly boy, of course it's fake. Cam, please enjoy your milk tea. There's a real one too. Xiaoxi, meeting you is the greatest luck of my life. Will you marry me? I promise to make you feel this lucky every day. Given that today the god of luck has come down. Mom, Dad is speaking from the heart. You two have planned this all along? Yes. From the time I reunited with you, I've planned it all. So, are you willing to marry me? Perhaps I can be a bit braver. This time, I... Mom, you're very brave. Don't guess what I'm thinking. But you're right. I should be a little braver. Okay. Then I will say yes first. Stop. I only said yes first. Whether we get a certificate or not depends on someone's performance. Here are your milk teas. Thanks to you, son. Xia Yi, did you hear Mr. Li proposal to Chen Xiaoji? And Chen Xiaoji said yes. What? That woman, she claimed she wasn't after money. I always said Mr. Li was naive. Now that I've been fired by Jia Yuan, I won't be able to help you. Jia Yi, you must protect Jia Yuan International. Don't let the bitch succeed. As long as I'm here, no one will mess with the company. Grandpa, Chia Yuan is getting more and more reckless, regardless of family background and identity. Enough! I heard everything. Leave my grandson alone. Whatever you want to do to that woman, I don't care. <laughs> Chen Xiaoxi, this person looks like you. But where did this photo come from? It's sent from your own email. It can really be you, can it? It's me. But I didn't send it. I guess the account must have been hacked. Chen Xiaoxi, I really admire you. There was a Mr. Lee backing you before. Now there is a new lover. Don't talk nonsense. That's my brother, too. You are pure. Chen Xiaoxi, you've got some nerve coming to the company. Miss Lee, the photos are a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Even a blind man could see clearly. You're messing around with relationships. An employee like you doesn't belong in Chia Yuan. Miss Lee, don't throw dirt at me. Just a few photos. This is defamation. Looks like you want to make a big splash in the company by spreading this to everyone. I really didn't expect that you would be so shameless. This account was registered by the company. I guess someone in the company deliberately wanted to frame me. I will find out the truth. No need to investigate. Pack up your things and prepare to leave. Chen Xiaoxi is my personal assistant. Without my permission, I'd like to see who dares to fire her. Xia Yuan, are you disregarding the company's reputation? Sister, just hope that you won't falsely accuse Xiaoxi. Falsely accuse? The photo is here. How can it be a false accusation? The photo is just a matter of perspective. Don't fool yourself. Haven't you seen through her yet? I know this photo well. I would there too. The man in this photo had nothing to do with Xiaoxi. Because she's my girlfriend. Chia Yuan, have you thought it through? You are in the company. You set the rules yourself. None of this romance is allowed. Are you going to be the first to break it? You! Seeing Chia Yuan do this for you makes you very proud, right? I'm not proud, but I'm happy. And I know Chia Yuan's kindness towards me. You are really selfish. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Have you thought about Chia Yuan? Have you thought about the company? Miss Lee, please don't stand on the moral high ground. You cannot point your finger at me. But I agree with you. Since Chia Yuan International doesn't allow office romances, I'll abide by it. Xiaoxi, didn't we make up already? Are you changing your mind so quickly? 
No. I've just decided to leave Chaiyuan International. That's the right thing to do. I thought you were going to ditch me again. Well, if that's the case, just put your mind at ease as Mrs. Lee. Chaiyuan, actually, Mason approached me privately. She said, with my experience, I could become a director there. I know Hongtu doesn't have the same reputation as Chia Yuan International, but I believe I can have a great start there. Remember how Xin Xiaoyi tried to break us apart back in the day? Why would you still want to join her company? Xin Xiaoxi, have you considered my feelings when you made this decision? Being a director is certainly tempting compared to a personal assistant. Maybe she's been wanting to leave for a long time. My naive little brother. Looks like she doesn't value you as much as you think. Xin Xiaoxi, I can take care of you. You don't need to work. Why choose a competitor of Jiayuan International? Jiayuan, have you realized what kind of person she is? Xiaoye told me that in order to join Hongtu, she had to give up custody of Nuo a woman who can heartlessly abandon her own child, doesn't deserve to marry into our family. Is that so? <laughs> I... Grandpa wants a grandchild anyway. Xiaoxi is doing the right thing. She is going to Hongtu, the competitor of Chaoyuan International. Hongtu? That reminds me. I want Xin Xiaoyue not to appear in front of Xiaoxi. Since Xiaoxi wants to join her company, it's a good opportunity to test her. As long as she makes Xiaoxi unhappy, I will buy Hongtu and give it to Xiaoxi. It's not a big deal. What are you looking at? Do you also want to work for Hongtu? Mommy, I'll miss you. You need to come and pick me up quickly. No, no. Remember what mommy told you. Don't let others know that you can read minds. Do you have to send Nuano to grandpa's house? You can go with him. But grandpa hasn't accepted me yet. Nuno is safe at grandpa's. Don't worry, I will take good care of Nuano. Chia Yuan, about me going to Hong too. Do you have any questions? Are you talking about the fact that Xin Xiaoyue is actually your sister? You know that? When you joined the company, I had someone investigate. When you joined the company, I had someone investigate. Xin Xiaoxi, don't you try to escape this time. Mr. Li, there's one more thing that's not on record on Miss Chen's file. What is it? Miss Chen and Miss Xing of Hongtu Design seem to have some connection. Miss Xing is Miss Chen's half-sister. When Miss Chen's mother cheated on her husband, she abandoned her husband and child and gave birth to Miss Xing. Got it. Hongtu Design was founded by Xin Xiaoyue's mom, who is also your mom. Although the company are tapped for these years, after all, it still belongs to you. I didn't go to Hongtu to get anything back. I just want to be closer to her. I'd like to meet her. Alright. If you say so. You knew it all along that I'm going to Hongtu for a reason. That's why you covered for me in front of Miss Lee. Are you feel touched that you want to marry me? Nuno isn't here tonight. Why don't you and I... Hello? Okay. What's wrong? I have to go back to the office. There's a problem with Jiayuan International's biggest investment project. If the investment fails, the capital chain will be broken. What? That means Jiayuan International will declare bankruptcy. Mr. Lee, now the project has reached the final stage. I don't know why the approval has been delayed. It seems that someone from media is deliberately operating behind the scenes. All the shareholders have chosen to run away at the first time. If the funds cannot be raised in a short period of time, Jerry will really face bankruptcy. Got it, I will solve it. Hey, Mr. Zhang. Hello, Mr. Shen. Hello, I... Oh.
Hello, Mr. Zhang. Oh, it's nothing. I just wanted to ask if you're available recently. Let's get together, Mr. Li. I may as well be frank. You want to borrow money, don't you? Jiren International is about to go bankrupt. Everyone knows about it. Who would dare to lend you money? Take care of yourself. Miss Chin, you can't go in. Is that so? I heard that Mr. Lee is struggling to borrow money. Doesn't he want to meet the woman who can save him from this dire situation? Ching Xiaoyue, how dare you come to my office? Well, are you so eager to get into trouble? Jia Yuan, why are you so angry? I know we're competitors. But you and I grew up together. Now, I'm the only one who can help you. Don't you have desire? I'm not interested. Jia Yuan, do you know why for so many years I've always wanted you? Because I've always fantasized that that cold face of yours could one day treat me the way you treat Chen Xiaoxi. Your fantasies about me make me sick. So what? Once the news of Chiayuan International's bankruptcy spreads, nobody will be willing to lend you money. How exactly am I not better than that bitch, Chen Xiaoxi? Mr. Li, did I tell you not to let this woman appear in front of me? Jiayu International hasn't closed down yet. Don't you take my word seriously? Chiayuan! <laughs> Director Chen, how does it feel to work in the company of your rival? Xin Chao Ye, you love Chia Yuan, but he doesn't love you. So you are not my rival. Don't think I don't know what scheme you are plotting. Chen Xiaoxi, let me tell you, you cannot change the fact that you were abandoned by mom. Do you know why mom hates you so much? And even your dad, who looks like a country pumpkin, liar. Oh, then why did mom give home to design to me and you? Just a worthless person who just abandoned your son for entering the company. But I feel happy that you are here. If you can make me happier, maybe I can tell you why mom abandoned you back then. For so many years, your poor father has been kept in the dark. What is the reason? Why must I tell you? What do you want? It depends on my mood and your performance. Honey, are you comfortable living at Great Grandpa's? Why are you shaking your head and nodding? Shaking because I miss you. Nodding because I don't want you to worry. But Mom, don't worry. Great Grandfather treats me well, and he has agreed that Mommy can live with us in the future. Daddy! Daddy, you look unhappy. Let me guess. You are angry because Auntie Shi wants to replace Mommy and marry you. No, no. Xiaoxi, it's not what you think. She went to the company to find you because of business? No, no. Mom has told you many times. Don't guess what I'm thinking. Okay. Dad, you're on your own now. Xiaoxi, don't worry about my company. Now Jiren International is in a precarious situation now. I think you should leave home to design. In case Xin Xiaoyue causes you trouble, I won't have power to protect you. Don't worry. I'm not that weak. Since the company belongs to my mom, if she can stay, so can I. If she still wants to seduce you, I won't let her off. <laughs> 
Great, Grandpa. You're back? Great, Grandpa. Today, Mom and Dad came together to pick me up. When can we live together with them? You want to live with them? Yes. Other kids all live with their parents. You are troubled by Xin Xiaoyue. She is thinking of ways to seduce you. She has no time to pay attention to me. So, you are jealous? Don't laugh. Her company is facing bankruptcy now. When Xin Xiaoyue just returned to the country, there was problems with Jiaoyue International's project. I had someone investigate privately, and it was indeed her doing in secret. But she underestimated me. And Jiaoyue International, if it weren't for your involvement in Hongzhou design, I would have dealt with her long ago. You can solve the crisis of Jiaoyue now? It's difficult to change the public opinion before I find a new investor. It's a paradox. If things continue like this, no one will invest in Jiaoyue, but... What if I can find a new investor for you? Xiao Xi. Those who invested in Jiaoyuan at this time may not be sincere. What if I am the investor? Where would you get so much money? Here is the check for 100 million yuan. Xiao Xi, tell me, where did this money come from? If you trust me, just use it. I will tell you when it is the right time. I trust you. I'm hungry. Aren't you going to cook? I'm also hungry. My body is hungry. How about let's solve my needs first? No. Don't do that here. Xiao Xi, even though you are already a mother, you're still so shy. Taking your money means taking you. I'm willing to serve my wife. You, you are welcome. Oh, by the way, let's bring Nono to our home for a couple of days this weekend. Okay. Mr. Lee, these documents need your signature. Have received the money? I have contacted the bank. The funds will be available today. I have informed the media, as well as the shareholders. This time, Miss Shen, no, your wife, help Darcy and right time. Okay, I see. I didn't tell him that it was money from you. Thanks for your help to Chia Yuan. Alright, that's it for now. Okay, see you. Who are you talking to on the phone? A friend. Yes, it really came just in time. Why did you come? Anything wrong? I see you are still awake this late, so I poured a cup of coffee for you. There are some documents related to the project that need to be handled. Do your work. I'll give you a shoulder rub. What's more important, work or me? Of course you're more important. What happened? You're so enthusiastic tonight. I won't tease you anymore. Do your work. Drinking coffee at night will keep you awake. You better not drink it. Old fox, he enticed me back. Scared me. Mommy, what are you doing? No, no. Can you do me a favor tomorrow? Help mom read your dad's safe coat. The last time I saw the code, it was 34536, the last two digits. 
Could it be his birthday? No, no. I forgot my car key. I will get it and be back soon. Daddy, hurry up! Okay. Mom, the code is so strange. Why do I feel dizzy when I use mind reading? I have got what you wanted. Let's meet and talk. Where is the thing I asked for? I already sent it over. Now, can you tell me the reason why mom left me back then? I've said it before. A woman like you, ignorant and clueless, would eventually betray Chaiyuan for your own benefit. Try to guess, if Chaiyuan finds out that it was you who betrayed him, wouldn't he hate you to death? I've already sent you the thing. Did mom have another reason for leaving us back then? Tell me all you know. There is indeed a little secret. But for your useless old father, it was indeed a blow. Mom left him back then because he couldn't perform as a man in that aspect. Xin <laughs> Xiaoye, don't talk nonsense. Believe it or not, I'm not talking nonsense. Oh, I heard he never married in his lifetime. Maybe it's because of that. You're playing me, so? Once something is handed over, it cannot be taken back. You better think about how to explain it to Chia Yuan. Xiao Xi, where have you been? I, I went to throw away some garbage. Is our son asleep? Yes. Lately he gets sleepy easily. He even fell asleep leaning against the wall. I carry him to the bedroom. Xiao Xi, you seem restless lately. Do you want to talk to me about something? It's nothing. Chai Yuan, if I deceive you something, would you still believe me? No matter what you have done, you are always my beloved Xiao Xi. What if I betray you? It's okay, I'll go to sleep first. What happened? Director Chen, you are so arrogant. I want to see if you can still act so arrogantly later. Missing pay me to come, not to listen to this meaningless idle talk. If there is nothing else, I'll leave. 
Xia Yuan. She said she wanted me to come over and talk to me face to face about something concerning you. What happened? You're upset? Tell me. I will make her and her heartless mother apologize to you. How could I bear to upset her? Now she is a great contributor to how to design. I couldn't wait to call you over just to let you see what an excellent talent you've lost. Jia Yuan. It's okay. Let me see. What is it? Jia Yuan, sorry. I just want to know the reason why my mom left me. So you took the company's information to exchange your mom's secret. I can forgive you, but I didn't expect that you signed such a sexual bribery agreement in order to gain her trust. Chen Xiaoxi, what am I to you, really? Sexual bribery agreement? I, I didn't sign such agreement. The agreement is here. Don't deny it. Chia Yuan, I have told you, a woman like Chen Xiaoxi loves to mess around with relationships. If you didn't have a paternity test with your child at home, I would suspect that you were having an affair with some man. Shut up! Chen Xiaoxi, let's take a break for each other for a while. It's good for everyone. You framed me. So what? Even if you leave home to now, I'm afraid Chia Yuan will not change his mind. But if you stay here as a director, maybe I can give you a chance to cooperate with Chia Yuan on a project. You framed me and keep me here. Xin Xiaoye, what do you want to do? I just want to see how Chia Yuan giving up on you. Oh, even the almighty Chen Xiaoxi also can be scared. What project? You have a child with Chia Yuan. So what? You're still fooled by me. You have means indeed. Back then, we just one move. You made Chen Xiaoxi leave the country. Now you're even more powerful, making Chia Yuan give up on her completely. I have one more plan. And if it succeeds this time, we will be the CEO of Chia Yuan International. As for me, I only want Chia Yuan. As for that Chen Xiaoxi, let her get out of my sight. My brother, he's not someone to be underestimated. Are you confident? The products of Chia Yuan International have problems, and it has been spread by the media. Moreover, the stocks have dropped to an all-time low. The last project acceptance was rejected, but he managed to turn things around. I don't know which man helped her. Do you think Chia Yuan will easily believe that agreement? Let me tell you. He had suspected Chen Xiaoxi a long time ago. This woman is not ordinary, being able to obtain 100 million yuan. She has some talents indeed. In front of you, as long as you follow the plan, hold a shareholder meeting and force Chia Yuan to step down. I have a way to make Chen Xiaoxi become the scapegoat, letting her completely break ties with Chia Yuan. Yeah, I agree. International has just experienced the bankruptcy crisis, and now there are reports of product problems. Mr. Lee, can you respond to this? January International stocks has plummeted. How will the company respond? <laughs> Mr. Lee, our product just had a flow. And the media caught wind of it. It's as if someone deliberately leaked news. Mr. Lee, the current situation doesn't look good for us. Send the 40 products for the inspection. Immediately. Have the legal and the finance department investigate these together. Yes, sir. Mr. Lee, an emergency shareholder meeting has been called. This is quite sudden. Yes, it is. It was requested by Mr. Lee. You are needed in the conference room now. All right. I believe everyone is aware of the recent incident. I hope that Mr. Lee can provide an explanation to everyone. Isn't it too early to reach a decision? Assistant Wang, I don't think you're qualified to meddle in the board's affair. It's not a qualification problem. Isn't it obvious that someone said this up? So what? Does it change the fact that the company's stock price falls because of this? Are you saying that you have a way to turn the company's situation around? 
Of course I do. Chen Xiaoxi. Hello, Mr. Li. I'm representing Miss Sun today to discuss our collaboration with Miss Li. Welcome, Miss Chen. I've never thought that we would work together. It's an honor to work with you, Miss Li. Fellow shareholders, I'll let Miss Chen introduce to you our collaborative projects. Hello, everyone. I've brought with me my company's latest project from Europe, worthy of 5 billion yuan. Miss Chen, how could you do this? What are you doing now will make Mr. Lee shut up. Let's talk business, Mr. Lee. You don't have any objections, right? No. You are right. However, it's impossible for me to see the authority just like this. Chia Yuan, stop getting ahead of yourself. Is there anything else you can do to raise the stock price? Is anything other than profit, such as company's reputation and the underlying truth, are important? If we don't get this clarified, what if the same thing happens again in the future? It depends on who's in charge. This kind of incident will never happen again if I am the one holding the position of the director, Miss Chen. Don't you think so? Yes. That capability is the reason Mason has selected you as our collaborative partner. Is it true that all I have to do is to raise the stock price to showcase my capability? Absolutely. The capable should take the lead. Is that okay with everyone? Just give me three days. Not only will I restore the fallen stock price, but I will also increase it by 10 points. Chia Yuan, stop boasting. Mr. Lee, stop getting ahead of yourself. All of you think that I will make a fool of myself, don't you? That's not gonna happen. We will see. Excuse me, Mr. Lee. We will need you to come with us to the police station. The president of Taiwan International, Li Taiwan, is currently under police investigation. Mom, did I do something wrong? No, you didn't. You did nothing wrong. I'm the one who's at fault. It's mommy's fault. I was the one who helped you lie to dad, and I made you scared. I'm the one that caused him to get arrested. I want dad to come back and accompany me. Nana? 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 Your child is very weak. He needs a full body checkup. Why are you so careless as the parent? Recently, he's been saying that he's hungry and tired. I thought he just didn't have enough rest. I was too busy. Hello, Chia Yuan. Xiaoxi, why did Nono end up in the hospital so suddenly? I was too careless. I didn't even realize that he's been having a hard time recently. I'm at the hospital now, waiting for the test result. Don't be scared. Wait for me. Chia Yuan, how's your investigation going? Is it all settled? Why was Chia Yuan taken away by the police? What did you do to him? Chen Xiaoxi, you have to ask this question to yourself. Is Mr. Da Vinci's money great for spending? What do you mean? Chia Fei, who got driven to desperation by you, came to me the other day. He hates you to the gut. I didn't force him. He had it coming for himself. Mr. Da Vinci is worth a fortune. He has countless famous drawings, but he is overambitious. Did you know that he wants Chia Yuan International for himself? So he framed Chia Yuan, and you just gave him the opportunity to do so at the right time. Mr. Da Vinci, no wonder he offered to lend me money to help Chia Yuan. It was you who tipped him off. Rumors of Chia Yuan International are all over the place now. I just bribed a reporter. Once Chia Yuan gives up his part, then Chia Yi can take over his role. Then, I'll help pay Chia Yuan out. Chen Xiaozi, you'll be left with nothing. Huh. Is that so? I'm afraid you're the one who miscalculated. What do you mean? I mean the person who should be in prison is you. I've recorded everything that you said on my phone. Xin Xiaoye, you can't look forward to going to jail. Xin Xiaoye, we framed the Jia Yuan International twice. But since you are Xiao Xi's sister, I will give you one last reminder. Go and find a good attorney. You, you guys! Didn't you break up? If we didn't break up, how were we able to catch you off guard? Don't put 
putting on a show for me? It's all a setup, isn't it? I am the one who wanted to join Hong Tu, Xin Xiao Ye. You know about it all along that you're my house sister, don't you? Right. I'll tell you one more thing. Did you know who set this up this time? It was our great mom who did it. Does she hate me so much? She does. She hates you as much as Li Chaoyuan hates me. Chen Xiaoxi, you're very tactful. When dealing with someone like her, how could you let her give up without any tactics? Xiaoxi, let's go. Li Chaoyuan, I think you still have no idea about Da Vinci's dirty money. Really? Sorry, but I have to leave. Let's go to the hospital to check on No No. Doctor, what's wrong with No No? His white blood cells are decreasing. He's very weak. We couldn't find the reason of his sickness. If we don't diagnose it soon, his condition will worsen. Could it be related to any drug injection? When I was in my late pregnancy, I was kidnapped by a group of people into an illegal clinic. We need to take a blood test to confirm. <laughs> Chia Yuan, I didn't mean to hide the 100 million yuan from you. Mr. Tafin just said that you won't accept his help out of the blue. That's why I... You don't have I... to say anything, Xiaoxi. When have you ever succeeded in fooling me? I... You always look distracted when you're lying. I've sent someone to go check where the 100 million came from. But he did solve Chia Yuan Group's urgent needs. Then aren't you in danger now? Don't worry. I left the 100 million to Chia Yi to handle. You want your sister to go to jail for you? She always wanted to replace me as president. Just go get Galway back. I also want to teach her a lesson through this matter and to show her what kind of man she is keeping by her side. I see. Let's go. I heard that you're sending your sister to jail. Sending your biological sister to jail. Chen Xiaoxi, are you even human? Years of not seeing each other, and you're saying this the moment we meet? What else do you want me to say? Talk about your useless father, or talk about your constant lingering around us and stealing your sister's man? I didn't steal her man. Chiaoyuan has always been my boyfriend. What are you trying to do? I don't care whether you're with Xiaoye or with Chen Xiaoxi. I'm their mother. Do you want to beat me? You keep trying to frame your biological daughter. Xiaoxi doesn't have a mother like you. I see, Zhen Xiaoxi. You want to rebel, don't you? Have you been eyeing Hong to this and this man since the beginning? And you're trying to frame Xiaoye, then take over our company for yourself? How bored of you, Zhen Xiaoxi. You've got a hand of good cards. Your company? Father never married for your sake, but you abandoned your daughter and husband 20 years ago just for money. And 20 years later, you've driven me to the edge several times along with Xin Xiaoye. Xiaoyuan is right. I don't have a mother like you. Xiaoxi is the young madam of Xiaoyuan group. She doesn't need to compete with you over Hongtu design. Xiaoxi, I've heard it from Xiaoyu already. You joined Hongtu because you wanted to find me, right? I'll tell you what. I'll let you call me mom once. Can you let Xiaoye go? It's fine. You're not worth it. You... You're shameless. Miss Xin. 20 years ago, you had an extramarital affair. Hong Tu designed 60-year-old general manager, then gave birth to a daughter named Xin Xiaoye. One year later, no longer after, you took over Hong Tu group. Do I need to explain to you what tactics you used to take over Hong Tu? You! I've already checked and know of all your little businesses. If I weren't afraid that Xiaoxi would get upset, she would have known the truth already. I kindly ask you and your daughter to stay away from Xiaoxi. Xiaoyuan, why are you sitting here? Sister, this was my office. It's mine now. Soon it won't be anymore. What are you talking about? Xiaoyuan, are you trying to trick me? Sister, you said that the company doesn't only belong to one person, and those capable should take charge. You've really grown up now. I've underestimated you before. You always told me that I was deceived by Chen Xiaoxi, but sister, you are the one who has been deceived by the ambitious Gao Wei. No, he won't lie to me. Alright. Dare you make a bet with me? Open the 
door. What's going on, Chai? Kawei, what should I do? Chai International has been taken over. We don't have money anymore. Don't worry about it yet. Come and sit down first. Previously, he forced Chai to leave. He hates me. Now he is not giving me any mercy. Don't worry. Have a drink of water. Let's figure out a solution first, okay? It's all right. It's all going to pass, right? Kawei. Take it easy, Jai. I just took some photos of you. If you don't want them to be exposed to the public, just do what I say. Okay. What do you want me to do? Kidnap Chen Xiaoxi. She's Li Jiayuan's life. Nobody's worth more than her. No. Chen Jiayuan will never forgive me. He will own the entire Li family. And I'll have nothing left. Jiayi, you also said that the entire Li belongs to him. If you don't do something, there is nothing left. Tell me. What's the secret that you're going to tell me? I cannot tell you here. I'll take you somewhere. Miss Lee, even though you've hurt me, you're still Chaiyuan's sister. Yeah. I know, I know it. That's why I'm going to tell you this important secret. Chiai, I misjudge you. Both of you won't end up with anything good. You don't have to worry about us. But I know, if you don't cooperate, surely you will die. This depends on whether he can save you in time. This depends on whether he can save you in time. Stop it! Mom! Go away. I've done as you asked. I've brought Nono with me. Let Xiaoxi go. No, no. Go with your dad. It's too dangerous here. No, mommy. I'll protect you. Sister, I told you this man's a liar. Why don't you trust me? Chia Yuan, I was forced to do it. I, I have no choice. Mr. Li, I have got your lady and your sister. Give me what I want. Otherwise... <coughs> Here's what you want. There's 500 million yuan on this card. No password. Threw it over here. Let her go first. Hey, Jia Yuan, don't play tricks on me again. I have explosives here with a single spark. I can take all of your life by myself. No loss. You're a maniac! Maniac! Don't worry. I don't want to die either. As long as you let me have the money, I will let you go, Jia Yi. Bring me the car. Auntie, will you give me a hug? Auntie, I know where that photo is. Don't worry, Auntie. I'll protect you too. Jai, get back here. Oh, yeah. Don't blame me for being me. Let's go. Wait, Gawe. You've got things you want. Let Xiaoxi go. Don't worry about it. Once I'm safe, I will let her go. Let's go. Li Jiayi, how dare you lie to me? I will make you lose your reputation. Get out of the way. Mr. Kao, I'm not a pushover. Li Jiayi, you better not regret it. That thing. You know where that thing is? Gao Wei, enjoy your life in prison. That's impossible. I need a lawyer. I need a lawyer. What's so impossible about it? He just told all his secrets. It's from his heart. Dad, I even know his secret. Don't say it. Your mom is going to get angry. Let's go. Your blood test results are out. Come to hospital with Nono as soon as possible. According to the test results, Nono has a rare immune system defect. It's all my fault. 
I didn't protect Nuo Nuo. As a family, we will face it together, whatever happens. Doctor, is it curable? For this disease, we can use maternal serum to treat the child's immune system deficiencies. That's great! Nuo Nuo can be saved! Dad and Mom are here waiting for you to come home. What's going on? I thought you said it was going to be quick. Grandpa, you've been saying it all morning. You told them not to rush and hope they will come back soon. Aren't you saying one thing and thinking I'm another? I'm not worried about them. I just worry about my precious great-grandson. I'm not used to not seeing him these days. He's like worm in my belly now. He can figure out what's going on for me. It's like he can Great read Grandpa! Minds. How did you know I can read minds? What? Don't say that. Are you Nono's mother? Nono always talks Grandpa, about you. Grandpa, she is your granddaughter-in-law. Why are you acting so distant? You can just call her Xiaoxi. She is a nice girl. I've already investigated for you. Hugging and cuddling is not appropriate. Let me show you around. Okay. I don't do hate her. Tell me, what kind of magic does Chen Xiaoxi have? That has you all mesmerized. Stop pretending, great grandpa. In your mind, you're saying that mom is your favorite granddaughter. Don't say it life. out loud. Grandpa me has my own pride too. I've bought home to design for you. I think my wife won't become my competitor, right? It depends on your performance. You mean, I didn't perform well last night? Well, tonight then. Tonight? Take no no back home. Nono told me that he's staying with Great Grandpa tonight. Nono wouldn't say that. If Dad wants me to say that, then I can. What's wrong with you, Xiaoxi? I got it. Mom's pregnant. I'm going to be an elder brother. Really, Xiaoxi? Li Tianluo, if you're going to make any more guesses, I will buy you food. That won't do. Great Grandpa will buy it for you. Should we tell Grandpa too? Don't worry about it. Pass Nono to Great Grandpa, who will give him more younger brothers and sisters. Mom and Dad are living a happy life now. I'm going to quit reading minds from now on too. Otherwise, I'll still be hungry easily. Your people nowadays are really something. Let's go home. Don't let them corrupt you.